Hey, what's up, it's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And a thousand subscribers, you guys fucking rule. And we're gonna be blasting some Crucimanium Charnel Passages on Misako Anunjo and Profound Lore Records. So fucking good, awesome UK death metal. Seriously, awesome, awesome stuff. Sick. Great artwork, great tunes. If you dig like Dead Congregation, Grave Miasma, you're gonna love it. Trust me. And today's episode is sponsored by um, Styrofoam Cup Satanic Black Blend Coffee. Best kind of coffee there is. But, um, Today, I want to talk about um, the album of the year for 2018. Well, not yet, but I'm going to make an a educated guess right now. I guarantee you that this next record I'm going to talk about ends up in at least every YouTuber's year-end list, every Metalhead's year-end list, every magazine's year-end list, etc, etc. And if you're like, Schnell, it's fucking not even April yet, what the hell are you talking about? Like, talking about Mournful Congregation, The Incubus of Karma, Osmos Productions in Europe, 20 bucks spin here in the States. Okay. Where do I even fucking start? By taking it out of the package. Well, the sleeve, but... First, the artwork. Absolutely beautiful. In every way. Like, fucking wow. Like, just like, ah, uh, it's just gorgeous. Like, with the cosmos and everything band members in the back and some gorgeous illustrations along with the lyrics some kid was like this band's ripping off cattle decapitation I was like dude that's called like Arbros that's an ancient symbol about karma the serpent eating its own tail that's not a cattle decapitation. Like, I know they have a logo like that, but they did not invent that. Fucking Crass has had that in their logo for like 25 plus years. But beautiful stuff here. And the lyrical content is just, like I said, this is the best sonic coping mechanism I've ever heard. Like, I thought Bell Witch Mirror Reaper grabbed my heart and was like, you know, after my dad passed, I needed something like that to fill the void. But when it was 4 a.m. the night he passed away, I remember blasting their Gotham stream from the heavens and just crying. And it is what it is. You know, when you lose somebody, you end up with this really gnarly, vacant void, and it's hard to fill. But when you have music and something as powerful as the Incubus of Karma by Mournful Congregation, it's a lot easier to help fill that hole of emptiness and sorrow and even self-pity for yourself. Like, it sucks some of the emotions you go through when something like that happens. But as always, Osmos at 20 bucks spin, especially when they team up together. Just look at the Ominous Circle LP for a great example. Um, I pre-ordered this with uh, Splatter because, wow. First off, it matches the artwork perfectly with the whole stars and everything. Pretty much being in the, uh, like, look at that. To me, that's why you buy colored vinyl. Not because it's limited or anything like that. I love when fucking record colors match the artwork and everything like that. It's just absolutely gorgeous stuff here. 
double LP, massive stuff. Like, first track, instrumental, three minutes and ten seconds. Next track, track which is probably one of my favorites, Whispering Spiritscapes, 15 minutes and 42 seconds. Then we have 1807, 548, 1457, and what might be Mournful Congregation's best song ever written, A Picture of the Devouring Gloom, Devouring the Sphere of Being. It's massive. 22 minutes and 5 seconds of just total funeral doom at its finest. This is a modern funeral doom, doom metal masterpiece. Honestly, there's no, I, I, I can't think of a band that has a record coming out in 2018 that is going to even come close to this right here. Like, not counting death metal. Like, just in general, I'm talking about all around music of the extreme genre. Where Mournful Congregation hit all fucking levels. You go from spoken word to some of the just deepest death growls to just awesome soundscapes. And Tim Cole's drumming on here is amazing. And for his debut for Mournful Congregation, he even said this is the his favorite record he's ever played on. In case you didn't know, Tim also was in Supernial Dusk, Wear Goat, Aldi Braun, like... The dude is in, like, every fucking sick band there is, and the fact that he said the Incubus of Karma is probably the best record he ever played on speaks fucking volumes. And you also have the mighty Damon Good, who you might recognize from Blood Incantation's Interdimensional Extinction EP. Yeah. But also, he's on... Rhythm, lead guitars, vocals, bass guitars on the Incubus. And you have Justin Hartwig on lead guitars, Ben Newsom on bass, and the mighty Tim Cole on drums and backing vocals. And, uh, yeah, all drums and acoustic guitars were recorded in Aldale, South Australia. All else recorded and mixed at the Cave Studio, and I know you guys know about that place. South Australia by Damon Good, and then mastered at Audio Siege, Portland, Oregon, USA by Brad Boatwright, September 2000, I meant 2017. Now, Brad Boatwright has, again, just put out another fucking work of art here, and all lyrics written by Damon Good, except the Rupiat, which features excerpts from the Rupiat by Omar Rapam, all art and layout by David V. Deandra. That dude fucking rules. Seriously, look at this fucking beast. Awesome band photo. Tim still has long hair as well, which is sick. But, like I said, I really dig the illustrations, the lyrics here. I don't, I really don't want to spoil them, but like, where there are shadows of the shadows, the imperishable may now perish, the devoured now devour. It's just, I like I said, I really don't want to get into it because it's just, it, I don't want to spoil this record for you guys. It's seriously so fucking good. Ugh, broken vows of the old king's dark span looming. I, I just, I don't want to spoil this fucking masterpiece for you guys. But musically, seriously. I've been listening to Mournful Congregation since they dropped the June Frost. And I know that's been a while now. And then, like, I didn't think they honestly could get better than Book of Kings. And boy was I fucking proved wrong here at the Incubus of Karma. The mini LP was kind of a hint of things to come, but this is just, you know, one of those albums that, again, 30 years down the road, I hope to still be spinning this and st 
to still be hearing new things with each listen because it's also one of those albums where you hear different aspects of like the instrumentation with each different listen. It's fucking brilliant. These six tracks are just hands down right now the best fucking extreme music in 2018. I mean, when it comes to death metal, right now, the new Dequisitor is the number one death metal. But we have the new Torture Rack coming out. There's tons of sick shit dropping. But this right here is everything you could possibly want out of a Doom record. And especially on the funeral side of things, very, very cosmic in nature and just... I mean, the title's The Incubus of Karma, so obviously... But, like I said, I really don't want to spoil this, but it's just fucking awesome. And for this thousand subscriber video, I really just wanted to talk about how fucking sick this is and maybe try to push this on some of you who might not be too into the slower like style of extreme music and stuff. This will probably change your mind and change your heart and especially if you've gone through a loss it can be something as just dumb as losing a girlfriend this might be there to you know hold your hand through some of the harder times you're going through it's just one of those albums that it makes you feel something on the inside of you unless you're a complete sociopath then you're not gonna feel anything but it's a very, very, you know, just record that you could tell comes from the heart. No bullshit. There's no filler whatsoever on here. Like, every track is as long as it needs to be. Nothing ever outstays its welcome. It's just so on the fucking money. I, I, I love it. I seriously love, 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 love the new Mournful Congregation. The Incubus of Karma. On 20 bucks spin and Osmos production. So fucking much. I, again, I wanted to wait and share this with you guys. But for hitting a thousand subs, fuck yeah. This was all that, that, well, pretty much I had an, a plan for this review. Where all it was going to be was me just... Pretty much yelling at the camera, fuck yes! And you know what? I'm still gonna keep that in there. It's just at the end of the video. Because that's all I really have to say about Mournful Congregation, the Incubus of Karma is if you're a fan of Doom in any way, shape, or form, fuck yes. The Incubus of Karma has you covered. Hails to everyone involved on this fucking monster. If you pre-ordered this, you already know what I'm talking about and how fucking good this is. If not, get on this. I'm pretty sure it dropped officially yesterday. And you will not be disappointed. Mournful Congregation, the Incubus of Karma. This is how you one-up yourselves as a band. Seriously, it doesn't get much heavier doesn't get much sadder and just doesn't get much better in the songwriting department than the new mournful congregation this is extreme music at its finest and i stand by that statement seriously as much as i love death metal and stuff doom has always been you know right next to it this right here is just something semi-magical when it comes to the sonic side of my life and it couldn't have came at a better time in my life either I needed this and yeah I can't recommend this enough for all you doom and gloomsters out there cause you're gonna fucking love it Mournful Congregation, The Incubus of Karma on 20 bucks spin and Osmos Productions and we've been blasting one of my favorite death metal bands from the UK Crucimenium Fuck yes as well with charnel passages and again thank you so much thousand subs i know it's a lot but it's a lot for me Hills.